All right, so a lot of you guys are like, uh, I'm not switching from PlanSwift until, I don't know, it closes down, maybe. That's what you're saying. Uh, a lot of people are, are saying, you know, and I hear them every day, hey, I'm not switching from PlanSwift to ZZ because I don't want to lose all my work. Well, here's some harsh news. Uh, chances are you're going to lose a lot of your work uh, soon. Uh, I don't know when, and it's just rumors that I hear. Uh, but you won't be able to use plans with probably for a whole lot longer. Uh, my guess is there's going to be some, uh, I don't know, maybe you'll get a discount if you try up for our product uh, within that organization. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't know. Uh, but I know what I hear and I know what I see. Uh, and I've been working with ZZ for... A little over a month now and I've learned a lot about it and what I want to say is a lot of people are saying hey I, I don't want I've spent so much time building in plant swift and I understand that I did do uh, but I want you to kind of count the hours in a week that you're waiting for plant swift to because it's stalled or to unload a set of plans to load a new job to switch from another job and then I want to multiply that times the frustration of not being able to share that job decently or share updated jobs without copying it, putting it up into this cloud as a zipped file, as the latest edition of that job. Okay. And, and I want you to kind of keep track and then compare that to, okay, how long will it take you to build in another software? And that software could be stack. It could be uh, ZZ, it could be uh, on screen, it could be, uh, I don't know, Pro S. There's a, a few of them out there. Okay, you're still going to have the same time. You're still going to have the same frustration of building. Okay, uh, will it be better software? Yes, better than Plan Swift? Absolutely. But what I want to throw at you is ZZ right now. Okay. Uh, ZZ, as you know, is, was created by the founders, the original founders of Plan Swift. And right now, ZZ is on their third of 10 updates that they plan on doing. And it is phenomenal at number three. Uh, and so I have gone through and built uh, a good three full sets of uh, libraries, takeoff libraries for different trades. Okay, now are they the full package? No, but they're a great starter kit. And I want to show you what I've done in a day and a half with all this. Okay, not only have I built these, Okay, but I have also done some takeoffs with them so that you could see the reports and stuff. Uh, so let's look at this. Okay, you got you got this concrete job. Okay, so I, I've done the flatware takeoff, and yes, I've used AI to put in a lot of these uh, log uh, letter uh, takeoff template names. Um, so, but no, I'm not just talking about the takeoffs. I'm talking about full estimating. So where you calculate the concrete pump, the rebar, the concrete labor, the concrete, uh, different types of concrete thicknesses, thickened edges with the forming, uh, stairs, stair forming, uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay. Now, and footers and concrete walls and, you know, I mean, just on down the line. And that's what was all for this one project, okay? This is just kind of a demo project for ZZ Takeoff and kind of a starter develop kit, a demo kit for ZZ Takeoff. All right? So I built this, okay? You know, you're probably saying, well, that's not a big deal. Okay, let's go to another one. Let's go look at... The framing one I built. And I remember I did this in like a day and a half, okay? And I had meetings and all kinds of stuff. So I've got a, a foundation, all the basement stuff, the CMU wall, the uh, mud sill, the washers, the bolts, the pressure treated bolts, the concrete piers, the concrete footing, the glue lamp beams, the rigid insulation, and the list just goes on. I've got framing two by six exterior wall with all the paneling, with all the nails, with all the uh, labor, with, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a lot, okay? Um, and I've done this in the matter of a day and a half with meetings and phone calls and interruptions and things like that. And I've gone through and I've done the takeoff here. Let's, you can see here's the foundation. Here's the first floor. Here's the second floor. Here's the roof plan. Okay. 
So we've got all this stuff, okay? But now you're saying, okay, well, that's that's good. It's not how deep I would do it. I would do it better. Great, come and do it. I, I, I just wanted to build this starter kit. And if you compare it to any other starter kits out there, this is awesome. I even have the labor in there for you, okay? Okay, so now let's go to uh, what I do for a living is landscape and irrigation. Okay, so we have this, I mean, this takeoff was, would take you an hour or so, uh, no matter what. Uh, but I've built all these templates in here for the landscape and irrigation. Here's the landscape one. I've got blank folders. I've got the soil prep that's going to calculate the compost. I've got mulch materials. I've got labor for trees. We've got uh, the backhoe. We've got the fertilizer tab, the guy sets if it needs it, the labor. Uh, I mean, I can just go on. We even have two different types of equipment to bring the equipment and to uh, bring the tree and to dig the tree. We each has their own production rates. I mean, I could just go on and on and on and on and on. And I built this in a day and a half. So that's what, uh, 12 hours, okay? Now, you have to be set up to do that. You have to have your, your all your parts or products inside plants, or ZZ, excuse me. You would have to have you know, your formula is ready to go. You'd have to build your basic parts. And that's what I had before I started. Okay, so that's, you know, disclaimer number one. Okay, you're not going to just go build yours on a day now. But that's how easy it is to build. And that's how fluid it is to build. And, and, and it's just amazing. I mean, I'm just having a blast doing this. Uh, it was, I did a four-hour stack challenge. And I built all this landscape and irrigation in four hours. This was actually faster. Now, I have built in Plant Swift, and I have built in ProEst, and I have built in Stack, and now I'm building in ZZ. And they all have a similar pattern, but there's different difficulties in each software. Uh, ProEst, it was that database. St uh, Stack, it was the, the database, and then bringing it in. And then the way you organize your folders was kind of cool but then you know when you go to do a takeoff the tags versus the labels when you can't drag and drop and ugh, that was a uh, uh, painful for me personally after using plans with so many years well here there's you know i mean drag and drop you can order them any way you want uh, so uh, if you want to look at reports we have got a lot of reports here I mean, these are all the parts and pieces that I have, a full materials, a full labor list, how many hours for the job, how many hours for the tractor, uh, how many yards are pea gravel, how many tons of pea gravel, how many gallons of glue do we need for this project, how many feet of communication, the list just goes on and on. So uh, it's getting to be the point where it will be by far the very best in the industry for doing takeoffs, using AI for a lot of features. Uh, people are claiming that they got the takeoff and they don't. You, you, you're you going to, it's, the AI is not ready in our industry for that as of yet, but it will get there. Um, so anyways, uh, thanks for listening. I, I, I can't express the concern I would have if I was a PlanSwift user right now going, oh man, I've spent years developing this stuff. It's going to be such a pain. I don't want to do it again. And I don't want to pay three to $5,000 a year per license. Uh, so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I need something that's easy, something that's familiar. That's uh, ZZ Takeoff. Very familiar, very easy to use. Uh, uh, you can use it on your Mac, guys. I'm using a Mac right now. I love it. I, 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 I'm not against my uh, PCs. I really am not. But when I switched over to Mac, it was like a breath of fresh air. Uh, not being stuck in that. I, honestly, Plan Swift to me feels like Windows Vista. Okay, do you remember Windows Vista? How bad it was? It, it's so ancient. And, and if you had to go back to Vista or use Vista, why everybody else is using the newest uh, browser or the newest software or the newest uh, platform, you'd be like, "Oh my God, this is so slow. I'm so tired. I can't do this." Hey, come on up into the the new age of uh, you know web-based uh, software okay it's phenomenal what you can do here anyways thanks for listening uh, give it a try okay you guys will not be disappointed i guarantee